Who would win Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Velociraptor? By Jerry Pallotta, illustrated by Rob Bolster, published by Scholastic. Before I begin reading, the author would like you to know that the T-Rex and Velociraptor lived on different continents, different parts of the world, millions of years apart, so they never really would have met. But the author is using his imagination to think, what might have happened if they had met? Let's go back millions of years. What would happen if a Tyrannosaurus rex and a Velociraptor met each other? What if both of these dinosaurs were hungry? What if they had a fight? Who do you think would win? Pterosaurs. Millions of years ago, three types of huge creatures lived on Earth. Pterosaurs flew in the sky. Did you know that pterosaur means winged lizard? Plesiosaurs swam in the ocean. Plesiosaur means close to a lizard. There were also other types of ocean-going reptiles. Mosasaurs, ichthyosaurs, pliosaurs, and nothosaurs. Dinosaurs walked on land. Dinosaur means terrifying lizard. Some dinosaurs walked on two legs, while others walked on four. Today, pterosaurs, plesiosaurs, and dinosaurs are extinct, which means they died out. Tyrannosaurus rex means tyrant lizard king. For short, let's call him T-Rex. Meet Tyrannosaurus rex. It had a huge head, sharp teeth, big back legs, and teeny front arms. Just looking at one is scary. No one really knows what color it was. What do you think? Were they hot pink? Probably not. Lizards today come in many colors. Some even can change color. Tyrannosaurus rex could have been almost any color. Maybe they were green, like an iguana of today. Velociraptor means speedy thief. Let's call him raptor. Meet Velociraptor. Paleontologists think it looked like this. Velociraptor seems to be built for speed and quick attack. attack. A paleontologist studies prehistoric life. Prehistoric means before recorded history. The T-Rex was discovered in modern times by people who found its fossils. Here is a photograph of the excavation site where this T-Rex was found. A fossil is the preserved remains of a dead plant or animal. The largest and most complete T. rex skeleton discovered is named Sue. It was found by and named after Sue Hendrickson, a paleontologist. Raptors were discovered the same way. Geologists and paleontologists found their fossilized bones. Did you know that a geologist studies the history of Earth in its rocks? A new generation of dinosaur hunters has been looking for dinosaur DNA. This raptor fossil was found next to a protoceratops that it was fighting. Both dinosaurs died in this real life. Who would win? Here is a full T. rex skeleton. When scientists assembled its fossilized bones, they learned that T. rex walked on two legs. A newborn T. rex skeleton has never been discovered. Maybe you will be the person who unearths it. Did you know that fossilized T. rex footprints have never showed tail marks? 
This indicates that T. rex did not drag its tail while walking or running. Here is a full raptor skeleton. Its fossilized bones look skinnier and more mobile than the T. rex skeleton. When all of the bones and joints are placed properly, it is called an articulated skeleton. Some paleontologists now think the Velociraptor had feathers on its body. Velociraptor is a member of a family of dinosaurs called a Dromaeosaurids. Dromaeosaurid means swift lizard. T. rex had a huge jaw with more than 50 teeth. Its teeth were not designed for eating vegetables. It had carnivore teeth, as sharp as knives. Did you know that carnivores eat meat and herbivores eat plants? When dinosaur fossils were first found in China, people thought they were ancient dragon bones. T. rex had a small brain. What did it think about? The raptor also had a mouth full of sharp teeth. That means it was a meat eater too. Would you want to be this dinosaur's dentist? Proportionally, a raptor has a larger brain than a T-Rex. A raptor's teeth point inward to trap its prey. Some scientists think that T-Rex was a brutal hunter. It had the size, teeth, and design to be an apex predator. It is hard to believe that any animal would want to challenge a T-Rex. An apex predator is an animal that has no natural enemies. Other scientists think that T-Rex was not aggressive, but was a carrion eater. Instead of hunting, it roamed for animals that were already dead. And that's what carrion is, a dead rotting animal. The raptor was a predator that most likely hunted and ate smaller animals. It probably hunted in packs. Scientists think it hunted by ambushing its prey, and an ambush is an attack by surprise. So what do you think about this? Should we call a group of raptors a bunch, a gang, a pack, a flock, a clique, a crash, a rumble, a storm, a herd? or something else. Boom, boom, boom. That is what a walking T-Rex sounded like. The ground would shake, alerting nearby animals. Boom, boom, boom. Here's a question for you. How is a T-Rex like a chicken? They both have four toes on each foot. A horse has one toe, a sloth has two toes, a rhinoceros has three toes, a chicken has four toes, and a human has five toes. Paleontologists think the raptor was sneaky and quiet as it walked. A raptor probably tiptoed before attacking. It differs from other dinosaurs, because it had a sickle on each foot. Now, sickle theory number one says, did the raptor use its sickles to slash and cut its prey? Or sickle theory number two, were the sickles used as grips to climb trees? Was the raptor a tree climber? What do you think? The small arms of a T-Rex seem almost useless. What could it do with them? A T-Rex had only two fingers on each hand. In a football game, the T-Rex would fumble the ball. Raptors had three fingers on each hand. The middle finger was the longest and the first finger was the shortest. People have nails on their fingers and toes. Dinosaurs had claws. The hands of a raptor have huge claws. A raptor's arms and hands seem perfect for a dinosaur that is an aggressive hunter. Quick, long, and strong, a raptor could easily rip apart its prey.
The first dinosaur fossil ever discovered was named Megalosaurus. T. rex walked on two legs, its tail balancing its body and huge head. The T. rex used its tail for balancing, but it may have also used it as a weapon. Getting whacked by its whipped tail could not have been fun. The largest raptor ever discovered is the Utah raptor. It is 20 feet long. Let's talk about dinosaur tails. The Ankylosaurus had a club tail. The Polycanthus had a jagged tail. The Stegosaurus had a spiked tail. Some dinosaur experts now think the raptor's tail may have been straight and stiff. Why did dinosaurs die out? They didn't look both ways before crossing the street. They texted while driving. One skateboard stunt too many. Too many video games turned their brains to mush. They liked to climb up trees, but didn't know how to climb down. Aliens from other galaxies went hunting on Earth and wiped out all of the dinosaurs. Those were some funny ideas that really couldn't be true, but there are some scientific theories of dinosaur extinction. The first one is an asteroid collision. A giant meteor hit Earth and changed its climate. Another theory says that small, sneaky animals started eating dinosaur eggs faster than new eggs could be hatched. Another scientific theory says that the larger dinosaurs had trouble finding enough food and started eating each other. Some people think that there were lots of volcanoes erupting and there was so much soot and dust that erupted into the air that sunshine was blocked and plants died. The plant eaters didn't have enough to eat. Eventually the meat eaters had no plant eaters to eat. Some people think it's the ice age that the earth became too cold. And some scientists think that there was disease, new infections, colds, and viruses attacked the dinosaurs. So what if a T-Rex had a fight with a raptor? Who do you think would win? A T-Rex was 42 feet long and 13 feet high at the hips. It may have weighed seven tons. Here comes a T-Rex to face off with the raptor. It's not a fair fight. The T-Rex is much bigger, but the raptor doesn't seem to be afraid. It does not run away. The raptor must have a secret. Just as the T-Rex is about to fight, the quick raptor leaps onto its back and the, the raptor slices the T-Rex with its sickles. The angry T-Rex bucks and the raptor gets flung into the air. The raptor was only about three to four feet high, not much taller than a kid who's about maybe nine years old. The raptor gets right back up and jumps on the T-Rex's tail. It slashes the T-Rex, but gets knocked to the ground again. The raptor starts making a squeaking sound. The T-Rex charges the little dinosaur. This time the T-Rex is fed up. Squeak, squeak, cries the raptor. The raptor gets out its message. A pack of raptors comes to the rescue. The T-Rex steps on one, then rips it with its teeth. But now the T-Rex is in trouble. What seemed like an easy fight has turned into a battle for survival. One, two, or even three raptors are no problem, but more than 10? The raptor pack slashes and cuts the T-Rex. It's over. The T-Rex crashes to the ground. It makes no sense to fight a pack animal. If it was a one-on-one -on -one fight, the huge T-Rex would easily beat a raptor, but nature doesn't always present a fair fight.